All right, welcome to another American States and Webcast, Rick. It's time to talk more football. Before we get into this uh, upcoming week, we've got to talk about the past week. Game ball time, you know the drill. Who's your first game ball going to? My first game ball is going to Randon Knotts, the quarterback at LBJ. He's only had a couple starts, but... A couple. Only a couple. Three touchdowns, uh, two rushing, one throwing, 100 yards rushing. Uh, he looks smooth out there, and they... they Easily beat Lanier, and uh, for a guy that with minimal experience, he did fantastic. And also, a Texas wide receiver last year, actually. Um, That's right. um, and my first game ball is going to go to a current wide receiver, uh, Latrell Martin over at Hendrickson. Uh, 15 to 13, whenever Stony Point game winning touchdown came on his 72 yard touchdown catch uh, from Xavier Conley. Could easily have given him a game ball, but um, Latrell had eight catches, 125 yard receiving yards, and the passing up offense. Almost had more yards in the rushing offense, which at you know, Henderson you don't expect a lot no, of. Not from Hendrickson. And with uh, you know, Latrell's only a junior, Xavier's only a junior, uh, Samaj Perrine, the fine running back's only a junior. So Hendrickson, watch out for them in the next yeah, couple good. of years. He's got talent. Uh, second game ball. It's going to Grant Brown. He's the quarterback at at Regents. We don't always give them a lot of love, but sometimes they really deserve it. They're undefeated mm -hmm. right now. That's true. He threw six touchdown passes in a victory over St. Savio, St. Dominic Savio. St. Dominic Savio. And what's amazing about that is he only completed eight passes. Six were for touchdowns. They scored 35 points in just the first quarter alone. So he, they took him out in the second half. Yeah. But pretty darn good. It's pretty amazing when you, when you do the math. And, you know, he got a lot of touchdown passes on not too many completions. The guy I'm giving my second game ball scored a lot and not too many runs. Josh played in at Del Valley. Uh, Del Valley ran over Anderson on this past Thursday night. I think it was 54-17. He had 222 yards, four touchdowns, only 10 rushes. Touch on rushes, two, he had two 57-yard touchdown rushes, 153 in a, th a three-yard touchdown run. So, man, he's fast. Well, somebody, if they had given up 20 times, he would have had 444 yards. Yeah, they, they didn't even actually play him in the second half, and uh, Anderson's a little down this year, but his next two games, they're, they're off this week, but after that they got like Travis and Westlake, so he's going to be, if he can prove himself in that against those teams, we might be talking about a potential player of the year candidate. Yeah, and he's going to be a D1 prospect, too. That's up. All right, uh, those are our game balls, so check in with us next week, and we'll be talking about some more kids.